What's good, family? It's Trav Coop from Generation of Wealth Vibes, and I'm just so excited. I want to show you guys step by step how I was able to make a thousand dollars a day on Amazon selling books. What you say, Daddy? That's right, a thousand dollars a day on Amazon selling books, and I'm not anybody special. You can do the same exact thing. I, I want to show you step by step how to build a six figure, multi six figure business by doing the things that I did. I'm going to give you guys step by step because I want to share this knowledge to bless somebody. Maybe it can help you generate, if it's not a thousand dollars a day, maybe you can make a hundred dollars a day or two hundred dollars a day. I just felt led to share this information um, and bless somebody. Um, so here we go. I'm going to give you guys step by step with the lowest setup costs. All right, number one, the things you're gonna need to start uh, your Amazon book business. You will need a phone. So hopefully that you already have that with internet connection. Number two, you're going to need at least, let's say $20 to go out and buy books, okay? And the reason I said $20 is because you're gonna be shopping at places like thrift stores and clearance sales and library sales where you can get books for extremely cheap. So $20 in the book world will go extreme a, an extremely long way. So again, that's all you need is your phone, $20, and the Amazon app downloaded to your phone. Go ahead and download. Now you don't necessarily have to download the Amazon app, but I would suggest that you do. It'll make the process a little bit easier. If you don't want to download the Amazon app, you can look it up on www.amazon.com. Okay, so what I did was I got a few of the books that I found in stores like Goodwill, search thrift stores in your area. That's where we're going to locate the books. Thrift stores, library sales, yard sales, Facebook marketplace, Craigslist, guys, you want to be creative. Anywhere that you think that they're going to be giving away or uh, have cheap books, that's where you want to source. You can potentially get books for free. I've gotten books for free all the time. I've been doing this 11 years and I've been doing it six years full time. Uh, so I get books for free all the time. Everybody in my area know me as the book guy. So they say, hey, you know, Travis, do you want any more books? And I'm like, sure, because they see books as junk, but I know the value behind books. I can easily resell those at a higher markup price. Okay, so what you want to do first, download the requirements, your phone, your Amazon app. Um, then you want to go out and start sourcing your books. That's the next step, okay? All right, so let's just say you pick Savers, if you have a Savers or a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. Once you go into that store, I'm gonna give you uh, a little cheat code, but this is, doesn't necessarily work all the time. The most profitable books are mostly nonfiction, okay? Now fiction, sometimes you can't get fictional books, but it's gonna be nonfiction, something that gives people substance when they read. So here, this is a textbook. Cases in Healthcare Management. So I was able to locate this book at a thrift store. I believe it was Goodwill. Uh, the books are usually on the shelf or you can go to the Goodwill Clearance Centers where you're digging through the bins. Those are always good places to find cheap books. In my area, I believe the books are maybe uh, 55 or 65 cents a pound. Um, and this book is about two pounds, so I probably paid a dollar and uh, 30 cents or something like that for the book, okay? So what I did was, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna use my phone, and I'm gonna pretend that I don't have the Amazon app. So I'm gonna just go to Amazon app, uh, Amazon.com, and then um, I'm gonna search for you guys if the camera can get it good but you're going to search for this barcode hopefully that's coming up i'm new to youtube guys but anyway if you can't see it's a barcode on the back it says isbn number on the top of it 
you can either the Amazon app, if you have the app, allows you to scan it. But if you don't, don't worry, we still can get to it. Type in that number where it says ISBN, and it should usually start off if it's 13 digits with a 978. So I'm typing in that number. Now, okay, and then you want to hit search. Okay, so now I was able to pull it up. And I hope this, this book, you would grade condition. And I know you guys may be wondering, like, how would I do condition? It's very easy. You just go to Amazon.com, and whenever you search for books, it's going to have a link at the top um, that says condition guidelines. And you click that, and you just lift, you read through the condition guidelines. I would list this book with my experience as good condition. Uh, it's worn for, from probably readers or students going through it, but it's not in terrible condition. Good to acceptable um, condition, and uh, you can list it right on Amazon. So Amazon categories, they have acceptable, good, very good, like new, and new. Now, whenever you're picking out books and you scroll down, you want to make sure to look for the sales ranking. Now I'm explaining to you guys what the sales ranking is. The sales ranking is the statistics on that page when you're scrolling on Amazon. It's how fast the books or how many copies the books sell per month. So say for example, the sales ranking was number one. If you found a book that ranking was number one, that would be the fastest selling book on Amazon. Okay, and the ranking goes all the way up to 30 million or even higher than that as people are constantly, constantly, constantly adding books. So my criteria, if you find a book that's profitable and it's less than 3 million, if the profitability makes sense, I keep those books. Okay, so you have to do your numbers and see what makes sense for you. Maybe you don't have a lot of space to store books you may need to keep a lower amount of books um, because you don't have the space. Maybe your criteria would be like, hey, I need them to sell a little bit faster. I want to do a million or less, a million sales ranking or less until I can get more space. So your situation is going to be customized or suitable to you. Okay? You have two fulfillment options whenever you deal with Amazon. You have Merchant Fulfill, that's whenever you buy the books, you store it yourself on a shelf, and then whenever that order is um, sold, or whenever your book is sold, you package it up, put it in the bubble mailer, throw a label on it, and you fulfill it, you ship it yourself. Also, you can do what you call FBA. That stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. Now, if you're a newbie, I wouldn't advise you do that at first because Amazon is changing that up so much because people have been just sending in a lot of high ranking products and they're raising the fees on it and adding restrictions. So be careful starting with FBA. I'm not telling you not to, but I would suggest that you start with Merchant Fulfill first and get your feet wet and then move into the FBA. But that's also an option once you guys grow and you don't have the space and you get a lot of fast selling products you can choose the FBA route, which is popular. They saying, you know, a lot of Amazon coaches are saying you can just send stuff in and don't worry about it, but we're going to get into that and I'm going to tell you guys the truth on what's going on behind FBA. Can you make a lot of money with FBA? Of course, but it has to be the right product. And that pretty much wraps up the FBA versus the Merchant Fulfill. Now we're going to get back into this book example. Let's go. Make sure that you're listing the books in the correct category because you don't want to get your account suspended or banned because of mislisting or uh, miscategorizing um, books in the wrong category. So here guys, hopefully you guys can see it on my phone. Once you type it in, you're going to go to where it says other sellers and new this book is $93. Well, I mean, we, we can't do anything with that with it being new because we don't have a new. But the lowest price for use is $56.49, okay? And we don't have acceptable, we have good condition. So here, use good, 
we got the potential to make $53.50 um, off of this book. That's how much it's worth. Now remember, I found this book in a Goodwill for around a dollar and let's just say 30, 20 or 30 cents, guys. That is a great return on investment. And I do this all the time, guys, and you can do it too. It doesn't take any special skills. It's a numbers game. The more numbers you get, the more profitable books that you will get. And it's so low start startup costs. Guys, I got it for a dollar and 20 cents. I can sell it for $53.50. That's the name of the game. Now, I don't want you, I don't want to mislead you guys and have you thinking that, hey, every time I go into uh, Goodwill or Savers, I'm going to be able to find a hundred of these books because that's not the case. In the book game, it's about going through the uh, the quantity. It's going to be a lot of books that you have to go through to get the winners. So you want to get in as many books as possible and go through as many as possible as fast as possible so you can go through and what we call them in the book game, the duds, that's the books that's not profitable to waste your time with and get to the winners. Okay, so once you find a winner, all you do, make sure you have an Amazon sellers account if you don't. Okay, if you don't, it's fine, sign up for it, and you just go in, type this ISBN, and um, list this product on your sellers account, and wait for it to sell. I would suggest that you, you don't necessarily have to be the lowest price, but you wanna be on that first page. Whenever a customer search for this book, you want to be on that first page, especially if you're a new seller and you don't have any feedback. So guys, this is the process that allows me to make $1,000 a day. Now, I do want to say I don't want to mislead anybody. Whenever your account is new, there is a reserve period on your payment. So say for example, um, I've got my account gets paid daily because I was grandfathered in. I've been on Amazon since 2010. 2010? you old! <laughs> but on the new account, forgive me if I'm um, making a mistake, whenever you sign up, I think it is a 21 day reserve payment period, okay? What that means is whenever, this, whenever you ship this book out to your customer and it's delivered, there's, you have to wait 21 days to make sure there's no problems before you get paid, okay? Let me say that again. Whenever you ship this book out to your customer, they wait 21 days after it's delivered to make sure there's no problems, and then they release the payment to you, okay? So don't think this is going to be, hey, I can sell this book today. I get paid tomorrow, guys. You have to be patient. Amazon put puts that reserve, that payment reserve, or that rolling reserve in place so they won't get scammed, okay? So make sure that you're able and you know up front that you're gonna um, wait a little while before you get that payment, guys, but still, it's a great return on investment. And I think, I'm not sure, that after a while you prove yourself to Amazon, they will kind of release some of that uh, reserve. They might only hold it for seven days after it's delivered. But either way, guys, this business is one of the lowest startup cost profitable businesses out there, guys. You can't beat it. Where can you go get a product for a dollar and twenty cents and sell it for fifty dollars? Now, mind you, I know a lot of people, and no disrespect to any other YouTubers or content creators. Um, they talk in terms of gross. Gross is the sale and what you you know paid for. But Amazon does take anywhere from around 15 to 18 percent out in commissions. So it's not going to be totally 53 dollars because they do take fees out, guys. But let's just say we break it all the way down. Let's just say you net 40 dollars from the sale and it costs you uh, four dollars to ship it, including packaging. Guys, you made $36 off of this book. This one book, $36, guys. And you only need to do that if you're netting $36. You only need to do that, what? Um, 30, you only need to sell 30 of these books, average, around 30 of these books per day. 
to get your thousand dollars so make sure you're going through a lot we want to find these big winners guys and it's possible because I do it all the time I've built my business to a place to where we have a warehouse and a forklift so I get them in in bulk guys I want to go through as many as I can as fast as possible to find these winners and I've been doing it for 11 years so guys if you have any questions you got the tools all you have to do is go out and execute guys I hope I bless somebody make sure you do your research on it I know you guys don't know me from a can of paint make sure you do your research but it is real go out there and take action I hope I bless you until next time Trav Cool I'm out